Chapter 1 Introduction to Computers Introduction Let us learn how a computer works with the help of the following activity. The rose plant takes in water. The rose plant grows gradually. The rose plant gives flowers. Here the rose plant takes in water, grows gradually and gives flowers. A computer takes in the instructions you give. The instructions that you give to the computer is called input. Water and sunlight through a process help the plant to grow. Similarly, the work done by the computer is called processing. The plant gives flowers. In a computer, the result obtained is called the output. All machines generally follow three steps. Input, Processing, Output. A computer is a machine. It also follows these three steps. For example, when you add two numbers, say 2 and 5 on the computer, the following three steps happen. Step 1, type 2 plus 5 using the keyboard. This is input. Step 2. The addition of two numbers is done inside the CPU box. This is processing. Step 3. The result 7 is displayed on the monitor. This is output. Thus, the computer accepts the data, processes it and gives a meaningful result. The process of input Processing and output of data is called as IPO. Input, process, output cycle. A computer is made up of four types of devices. Input devices, processing device, output devices, storage devices. Look at the diagram below showing how these devices are connected to each other to form a complete computer system. Input devices, input, processing device, output, output devices, storage devices. Let us learn about input devices, processing device, output devices and storage devices. Input devices. You enter data and instructions into the computer by means of input devices. The most commonly used input devices are keyboard and mouse. A mouse is used to draw pictures and select objects and text on the computer. A keyboard is used to input your work into the computer. Do you know? Data is anything that you know is true. Data are facts that may consist of numbers, texts, images, audio, video or a combination of these. For example, 1, 5 and 7 are data. Your name and age is also data. Some other input devices are joystick, scanner, microphone, touchpad and light pen. Joystick. It is used to play games on the computer. Microphone. It is used to record voice, music and sounds into the computer. Scanner. It is used to input pictures into the computer. Light pen. It is used to select objects on screen. It is also used to draw figures directly on the screen. Touchpad. It is used to move the mouse pointer with your finger. As you move your finger on the flat surface of the touchpad, the mouse pointer also moves in the same direction. ICT Update An optimal status touch keyboard is a keyboard that does not have any physical keys. The Magic Mouse is the world's first multi-touch mouse that lets you click or double-click anywhere on its touch surface. Processing Devices The processing unit of a computer is Central Processing Unit, CPU. The CPU is present in the CPU box. 
the CPU does all the calculations of the computer. Do you know what your brain does for you? It remembers things and takes decisions. It also does calculations and many other things. The CPU is known as the brain of the computer. The computer does all its work through the CPU, microprocessor, SMPS, RAM, motherboard, hard disk drive, microprocessor, inside view of CPU box. CPU has three parts, ALU, arithmetic and logic unit. It does all the calculations, CU, control unit. It controls all the activities of the computer. It tells other parts of the computer what they should do. MU Memory Unit It stores data and information temporarily. Do you know? When you process data and put it in a meaningful form, it becomes information. So, processed data is called information. Practical in Computer Lab Perform the following tasks. Open Microsoft Word 2010 and type the data as given below. Kinds of food, energy giving foods, rice, wheat, potato, cheese, body building foods, pulses, milk, flesh, eggs, protective foods, fruits, vegetables. Save the file with the name kinds of food dot docs. Click on file tab, print option and see the print preview of the document. Output devices. Output devices show the result of the work done by the computer. The most commonly used output devices are monitor and printer. Monitor. Monitor. It shows the work being done by the computer. There are mainly two types of monitors. CRT. Cathode ray tube. It is a traditional glass screen television like monitor. It is big and heavy, so consumes a lot of electricity and desk space. LCD, liquid crystal display. It is the newer flat panel display. It is lightweight and consumes less electricity and desk space. Printer, it helps you to take the output on the paper. There are mainly three types of printers. Dot matrix printer, inkjet printer and laser printer. Some other output devices are speakers, projector and plotter. Speakers, they help you to listen music and sounds. Plotter, it is used to take large printouts of drawings on paper sheets. Projector, it is used to display videos, images or computer data on larger screen. Storage devices. These devices are used to store data and information in the form of bits and bytes in a computer. A bit is the smallest unit of data and have either a value 0 or 1. A byte is a group of 8 bits. It is the standard unit of storage in a computer. For example, 10110 111 is a byte representing a data in computer. Some of the other data storage units are as given. Storage devices or memory units are the integral parts of a computer system. Now let us learn more about them. Memory. The data and instructions that are entered into the computer system through input units are to be stored inside the computer in some storage media. The storage media is known as memory. There are two types of memories. Primary memory, secondary memory. Primary memory. It is the main memory of the computer. It is present on the motherboard. Primary memory is of two types. RAM and ROM. RAM. Random access memory. It is used for holding the data temporarily while the computer is working. Its data gets erased when the computer is switched off. ROM Read only memory. It holds the instructions given by the manufacturer to operate the computer. It is a permanent memory. There are three types of ROM. P-ROM 
Programmable Read Only Memory EP ROM Erasable Programmable Read Only Memory EEP ROM Electrically Erasable Programmable Read Only Memory Remember Motherboard is the main board present inside the CPU box. The CPU and other internal parts of a computer are attached to it. Secondary memory. The secondary memory is used to store data permanently. Its data is not erased even when the computer is switched off. Some commonly used secondary storage devices are as follows. Hard disk stores all the software and data. It is fixed inside the CPU box. Compact disk is a portable device that stores large amount of data. Pen drive is a small portable device that stores very large amount of data. Pen drive is also called as flash drive. 